Okay, yeah, it's recording. Um, can you all please um subscribe to the girl who's up on screen right now? She has the voice of an angel. Okay, thank you. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> no, you you guys are you guys gals whatever you are on a castle. <laughs> You're not that lucky. Um, this video is over half an hour long. Mm. If you click on this, I am so sorry. Welcome back to the Jungle Wowing. This is your least favorite autistic kid in Swala. And, um, this game gave me some connection issues, so you are going to see. This. Mm. Mm. Mm, this game. So, it was advertised kind of differently than how it turned out to be. And uh, it only disconnected once. I will give it credit where credit is due. It only disconnected once. But, um, I don't think it should just um, disconnect all willy nilly. Or even once. But, mm, die. Mm. <laughs> I'm good at this. But, um, I would personally prefer if there were more than three options I could choose from. And if I could choose gender, that'd be great. Um, it's just, mm, I didn't like this game at all. At all. Nope. Not one yet about to be. Oh, it's just... Mm. The graphics were not the best, as you can tell. So, it's basically like this fantasy action fight game where you go out and you fight monsters and you do quests. I was kind of imagining this be like similar to Skyrim, but it's not. That's just me. Mm. And it took me forever to realize that the people. <laughs> so there are other players, okay, and they just instantly start darting out. So I thought that's what I was supposed to do, and no, that's not what I was supposed to do. I ran past the guy with the exclamation point, and that's the that's game based. Like that means they have a quest for you or something. I ran right past him because that's what everybody else was doing, and <sighs> the graphics, like the grass, bothers me so. Trees. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no. But um, I I did like that. It, mm, I liked that it had enough for my full moniker as the kid gamer. I didn't short on or anything. Some games I have to either cut off the R or the just use kitty spa like kitty spa bhg you know that kind of stuff it's just that's the only thing i liked about it <laughs> i am the expert at getting lost okay so i tried clicking on my the little scroll with the quest so i could Find my way back to the village, and it would not let me. <laughs> it would not. It wouldn't. It would not at all. Mm -mm. So I got lost a couple of times, and. <sighs> It 
even more embarrassingly, I didn't realize what that red rhombus, sorry, the orange rhombus at the bottom of the screen was. I just didn't know what it was. It's just, mm, like, at first I kind of thought that was how you tell if there's an approaching enemy. And, um, it's not. <laughs> So the little feet are, and I thought the feet on the map were, uh, were other players, like, in the vicinity, because I think you'll see somebody else did try to attack me. But, um, no. The rhombus is what I'm trying to find. <sighs> I did, I, I just, mm, I did not enjoy this game at all. <sighs> I considered just making this one one of those sped up ones where I just put in music overlay, but for some reason people seem to enjoy listening to me ramble for an hour, an hour and a half. I don't know. So, I'm just. And mm, this game was. Mm, I don't like it. I both. Oh, I need to fix my sleep schedule. I'm so sorry. Uh, so they just. Mm, Just, I don't want to talk about this game because this game is boring, but I have to talk about <laughs> this game sucks. It is free, and that it's free, it has enough spaces for my full moniker. Only things I liked about it. Everything else can just, I don't know, blow me. Just, ugh, this game. Ugh. Like, I had the sound on everything. The voice acting is terrible. The sound effects are terrible. This game is just terrible. It's just, why, why does this game exist? It doesn't need to just be. It honestly doesn't. <sighs> Mm. Mm. -mm. I just I wish I knew the point to it. <laughs> That's really all I have to say. I wish I knew the point to it. Mm. And Disappointingly enough, the skeletons I had killed before did not count towards my total for the quest. It's like, dude, I killed at least five. Please take that. Nope. <sighs> Lockdown has been helping with my save schedule at all. And it Everything's like, oh, we're moving to a level three, we're moving to a level four. All over here, it's gonna be a level one. This is reopening this week, this is reopening next week. Is what, what's going on? Somebody, please tell me. <laughs> I need one person with a reliable source. <laughs> oh, and I actually got into a fight with somebody. Over vaccines, because they think this is gonna be like a vaccine holocaust. Like, are you fucking stupid? A vaccine is a life saving medicine. Just... <sighs> like, I hear that vaccines ca cause autism bullshit all the fucking time. It's just, it's just not okay. I was born with that, and I didn't get it from a needle. 
not a Pokemon, you can't catch it, okay? Okay. It's just a vaccine holocaust. How fucking stupid. Oh well. Just, just, mmm. It hurts my brain to understand. <sighs> just, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not at all. <sighs> I have three more um gameplays already recorded. I just need the audio, and then I have a fifth one started and honestly just like I kind of want to do a make a video I haven't done one in a while maybe I'll do another q and I don't know just I'm getting bored with doing the gameplays again and I don't know if anyone's noticed but I've done a couple gameplays in a row and I'm not a gaming channel I am a variety channel I do q and A's I do vlogs I do makeup, I do cosplay, I do some art videos every now and then. But no, I'm not a gaming channel, I'm not strictly a gaming channel, I'm strictly an anything channel, I am a variety channel. I do whatever the hell the fuck I want to do. <sighs> this... I'm getting bored and the lockdown is making it worse. It honestly is. Just, I need something to do, but it's just, this is, honestly, it's just, mm. <sighs> it's just, I don't If anyone wants me to this part of the video, I'm so sorry. Thank you for putting up. <laughs> for uh, putting up with me and my shenanigans. And uh, also, if you have made it this far, please subscribe so um, you can enjoy some more of whatever the hell this <laughs> Um. Also, my description is full of amazing YouTube channels. You can check out some of my other videos I've done. Um, there are four causes I definitely believe in that if you so choose you could donate to. Um, there are Instagrams on there. I have some um, groups you can join if you so wish. Just, you know, I want to be a bit of a communal tie. I wanna give back another thing, you know? I wanna support my fans. Um, one of those being um a music channel called The Getaway that has two eyes that is run by my friend um JJ and then Operator Rob. He is a mainly PUBG channel, but he does some other um other videos as well. He actually <laughs> actually commented on my Mobile Legends gameplay, so if you want to watch me play Mobile Legends and I guess like talk to him on that, you can just reply to his comment. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely give him a subscription. And again, um, Charlene, I hope I'm saying that name correctly, but uh, you could give her as well as well. Like, she has the voice of an angel. Okay. Voice of an angel. <sighs> mm, just it's um, quite <laughs> no. But, um, Operator Rob, formerly known as Evil Bunny, they have approximately 278 subscribers as far as I know. Charlene, last time I checked, had like 510. 
the gateway to wise has about 15 i think um please 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 help me support my friends because they're amazing people and i'm grateful to have them in my life and you will be grateful to have them in your life too because they are amazing like especially my friend abby um she has this Instagram page called Perfect Flaws where she posts inspirational quotes in both English and Afrikaans. She is really nice, okay? So, like, go follow her on Instagram. Okay? Do we do it now? Oh. <laughs> I am normal. <laughs> I'm not normal and I'm not sane and I'm not sorry. <sighs> oh. <sighs> just, mm. oh, and speaking of people, I am super uber uber grateful to have in my life is my friend Rosiel. <laughs> Even though he called me off. If you are into your body, you know the Hufflepuffs are basically the most useless people ever. Like, freaking ever con came from them. But, um, there was a puppy I wanted on a game called Evic in Life. And, like, I, I don't have enough coins. And there's currently no freaking fiber options for tap toy videos I could watch. <laughs> and the the puppy was like either 599 or 999 coins and I only had like no he was 999 coins and I only had 59 coins and he freaking gets on just as I me the puppy and gets right off <laughs> he got on just as I me a freaking puppy <laughs> Bradley <laughs> the puppy is cute <laughs> just Mm. I have amazing friends. Oh, and my, my friend BK decided he was going to ask me if I'm okay. And that made me feel better. Um, I am still sad about my nana. Um, if we don't know what it means, that means grandma. My um, grandmother recently passed away. <sighs> and that makes me sad. And... BK recently lost his grandmother, so I didn't, like, want to tell him, hey, my grandma's dead, too. Because he has his own thing, sorry, about his family's grieving right now. He didn't need to, like, know about, like, what happened in mine. But he... <laughs> He's very sweet. I have very sweet friends. Why are my friends so nice to me? I'm, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> like, I suck. No, but like, <sighs> I have amazing friends. <laughs> how, how, how do I have such amazing friends? <laughs> how? <laughs> I, just how many? How many amazing people are gonna put up with me? <laughs> I got my penguin, I got PK, I got Raziel, I got Abby. <sighs> Obviously, I got my sisters, I got my family, I got my therapy cat, and my pet cat, and my roommate's cat. I am internally grateful. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know the words to say to express 
just how much they all mean to me and what I would be willing to do for them. <sighs> I just think just I don't know how to put that into words. I've lost a lot of people. I don't know what the noise I just made was, but when you lose a lot of people, it makes you appreciate the people that stay with you even more. And I unfortunately don't really have the time to thank everyone who has ever supported me or still supports me for some of some of reason people have for putting up with me. <sighs> I'm not gonna say that losing people doesn't suck because it really fucking does. When you lose a friend or a family man of English is not my first language, I'm so sorry. When you lose a friend or a family member, anyone close to you, it's painful. It honestly is. Two years ago, 2018, I lost. Mm. Okay, so I've lost both my grandmothers. 2018, I lost um, my first grandmother. She died from cancer. And the day of her service, I lost someone else. Not to death, but... <sighs> I came home from work, I was getting ready for her memorial, and I got my hair ripped out. It was not fun. I, uh, it definitely wasn't. And this year, I lost my last surviving grandparent. And I had it in my head because last time I lost my grandmother, I also lost the person who meant the most to me in the world. And I had it in my head that my best friend was going to just leave me. And he did, which makes me feel better. But I still lost. someone else and it, it still hurts you know it's always gonna hurt but if it doesn't hurt you're not gonna learn anything right It's like when you fall off a bike or when you stub your toe. Like I still stub my toe on everything. I'm klutz. I'm clumsy. If there's a wall, I'll walk into it. <laughs> but you know you know what I'm trying to say. You learn. You make mistakes and you learn. You lose people and you learn. Life is about learning stuff. Yeah, I got a bit distracted just then a spider dropped off my ceiling into my lap. <laughs> my room seems to be the one with the most little spiders and they're not always quite so little. <laughs> Oof. Like, I'm not afraid of spiders or anything, it's just like when they suddenly fall onto your lap that is a bit startling. <laughs> More than a bit startling, <laughs> I would like to say. Mm -mm. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah.
Like, I have amazing friends. I have amazing family. I'm super, uber, duper grateful for everyone I have, for everyone I've had. It still kind of gets lonely though. And that's because there's obviously been some holes created when people leave. They leave holes, they leave scars on your heart. I have basically taken down every picture for the move, except for his. I don't have a fucking idea for still loving him, but I do. I know he's forgotten my name and my face, and even the sound of my voice by now. Doesn't change. I learned my lesson. And I I gained some amazing people from it. I still cry over the fact that he's not in my life anymore, but that's that's the pain I have to learn from, right? <sighs> I got the press and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, actually, I am really sorry. I can try to be upbeat and everything, but just... I'm good at getting into that depressing territory. I'm just, I'm super, super good at it. I have, um, manic depression. And I'm not medicated, so... <laughs> I am very, very sorry. <sighs> I'm just... <sighs> See, here's another reason why I don't like doing the voiceover gameplays because I'm not very good <laughs> at speaking or at Conveying how I feel. Just. Mm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just. Mm. <sighs> yeah, hey. <laughs> As you, if it's your first time being here. Oh, uh, hi. I'm cringy. And I'm a nightmare. If it's not your first time, I have no idea what keeps you coming back, but thank you. <sighs> Self-deprecating humor is a great way to desensitize you from a lot of things, but it's also a great way to cover up the fact that you're actually in pain. Because people think you're making jokes about this and that. So it doesn't bother you, it doesn't hurt you. No. It still does. <sighs> but you know what won't hurt you? <laughs> Subscribing. I'm sorry. Just... I would like to make it to at least 600 subscribers this year. I had, I had a goal of 1,000, but it's taken me seven years to get to 580. <laughs> I'm not going to push my luck too much, but... Just... Now speak and hope. 
Yeah, hi. I'm an ASPE. That means I have Asperger's syndrome. That is a form of autism. It is a pervasive developmental disorder. It affects my ability to effectively communicate and convey how I feel. It also means that my senses are incredibly acute. And if I like something, I obsess over it. And yes, it does also extend to people. I'm not too happy about that, but you know, that's a thing. It just, it happens. I'm sorry. <sighs> there are good things and there are bad things. I have better than perfect eyesight, better than perfect hearing. There are definitely benefits, but there are also drawbacks. So many drawbacks. That's <sighs> part of who I am. And for some reason, I have people in my life who accept that. I actually make my friend Raziel pissed off so often I think he's gonna just walk out on me. And... My friend, who I call Penguin, she's... <laughs> he's actually called me a genius, which actually scares me, because I have my genius, and that really loves the part. <laughs> but hey, it is hypothesized that Albert Einstein also had Asperger's Syndrome. My friend Emily has Asperger's Syndrome. She's one of the kindest and thornest people I've ever interacted with. Holy shit, woman. It's definitely interesting. I will give my autism that much. It's interesting. <sighs> well, I'm gonna start my outro because now I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to say. So, have a wonderful day, night, whatever time zone which you reside. I don't know what time it is in Canada or the Philippines or Morocco or. Texas. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. What, what fucking time is it in Saudi Arabia? What time is it in in, in Angolia? I don't know. Where are you in the world? I hope you're having an excellent time. <sighs> Have a yeah, I'm just gonna say it again. Have a wonderful day and night or whatever time is it in which you decide. Remember, we're all mad here in this day, okay? I appreciate each and every single one of your unique existences, and I mean that with all of my heart. Wash your damn hands. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay calm. And stay clean. Remember to disinfect frequently test surfaces. Pet your pets today. And if you don't have a pet, I would say, well, I didn't pet a random animal, but you probably shouldn't do that because they might bite you and they might have rabies and it's going to be a lot worse than COVID-19. Pet your friend's pets. Pet your neighbor's pets. If you have a roommate with pets, pet your roommate's pets. Pet somebody's pet. You know what? Just pet your roommate. <laughs> pet your neighbor's <laughs> Just like go up to them and start petting them on my head. I mean, I I freaking love head pets. Like I love them. I like hugs. I like cuddles. I like it when people play with my hair. I love a good pet head pet. You know, just expand someone's horizon of physical love. <laughs> oh, the people that live below me are gonna think I'm fucking insane and they are completely right. <laughs> they are completely right. <laughs> the world is chaotic and the world is crazy and you gotta laugh at something. You might as well laugh at how just freaking batshit I am. 
I don't know. And why don't you tell me what you find to make you smile in this uncertain time in the comments? And <laughs> I am open to anything and everything. And I, I actually just watched all six Resident Evil movies, they are nothing like the game. I waited so long for Leon Kennedy to come on screen. He is literally in the fifth movie and only the fifth movie. And then Carlos looks nothing like he does in the games. And he's still alive in the games, actually. If they kill him off in the second movie he's in, he barely has any screen time in like either movie he's in. And they have him cloned. It's just, it's, it's not what I expected.